Hans Worm Hat. So this is a video about glory days because it's just a tranny thing. Uh, if you know anyone that just lives completely in the past, just high school was the best time of their life, it's just probably a tranny. Uh, you know, free Martins are the kind of person that every time... I mean, they're not always like this, but I, I like sharing the stereotypes because people will be like, oh my gosh, I know that person. So free Martins are the like 250 pound baby boomers who, you know, at least 250 pounds. <laughs> Some of them are just so gross. Uh, they love just talking about the same stupid stories from Tranny High about, oh, back when I played football or whatever. It's like, dude, your feet are, like, falling off from your diabetes, and you're sitting here talking to me about your glory days in high school, and I'm like, I don't even want to be in the same room as you because your your feet are, like, purple. It's just like, that's a tranny. They, <laughs> they peak so quick, and they peak in high school, which is uh, real, so... I've talked to a few, there's a few rare viewers of mine that are real men, I believe, and uh, similar things that, that we share together. Real men age just slower than the trannies. The, the trannies have a chemically induced uh, puberty. So some, I mean, this will be something that you'll know people in your high school. Some, some people that are like freshmen in high school and, or some are even sooner, their parents are jacking them full of these hormones. Uh, just thick, full beards. Okay, nobody, nobody should have a thick, full beard in high school. If you know anybody with a thick, full beard in high school, that's a tranny pumping tea. That's not regular male puberty is not like that. And so uh, these these trannies are fast bloomers. They're all hopped up on tea, and uh, they fill up the football team, and they bang the in utero MTF trannies. They're all the whole reason that high school is the crazy way that it is. It's just because it's just run by a bunch of trannies all over the place. The staff is a bunch of trannies, and the popular kids are a bunch of trannies, and the trannies are banging other trannies. And real humans were just not this degenerate. If I could go back and do it all again, I would. I wish that I had the ability to recognize male and female correctly from the beginning. It would just save so much of everything. Like, uh, even if we don't get out of this place, our children that we are able to teach the correct bio, it, their life is going to be so different because they'll be able to identify just the evil people. They'll be like, you're a tranny, I'm not going to associate with you. So anyways... If I, if I got to go back and do it over again, I would be looking for the cutest, wide-hipped, real female and just trying to court her and uh, just try to marry them. And that's, I would just try to escape tranny land as much as possible. Just I, I would obviously be religious and, and everything like that, but instead I was just like wandering confused through tranny land. It's just a clown freak show. And it's so hard to keep your eyes away from it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the the trannies are all early bloomers. And they, I mean, especially with respect to men, men age just slower. And uh, men honestly do kind of go through like a second puberty in their late 20s. And that's when these trannies start crashing, really. By then, most of them are bald, wearing fake hair. By, by the time a tranny hits 30s, they're falling apart. They're getting plastic surgery to keep their face together. They're getting pudgy. Their real men are just starting to peak when they hit 30. They're getting that second shot of testosterone. And then so at the same time, on the flip side, the MTF... If they have any, if they have any male testes still inside their abdomen or something like that, that 30 is about when the MTF really start crashing too. They start getting bulky and lean and large, muscular shoulders. And when, okay, at 30, women shouldn't be hardening up. That's that's a man thing. So, yeah, I mean, I guess this is a big part of glory days. Why glory days? 
why do they all look back and love high school so much? And they, whenever they get together, they say the same old stories about the same old crap. It's because they've already peaked, and their life is just nothing but downhill after that. Uh, regular humans, I don't know, I never feel better than just the way that I feel right now, and I always am making myself better. I cringe. I look back and I just do nothing but I cringe, and uh, <laughs> I just pray for mercy, and I pray to be forgiven for just all my sins in training land. That's what I do when I look back. There's no glory in glory days. All right, God bless everybody.